All right, people, I'm here with your Raw review. Just another shitty episode of Raw. I mean, it's just evident by looking at this episode that the creative team is just so lazy. I, I mean, I mean, there's just no uh, complicated shit on the show. There's no, there's nothing on this show that's like, that has an ounce of creativity in it. It's, it's just, everything is so basic and it sucks. So we get the show started off with a Bray Wyatt, Roman Reigns promo. I mean, it was all right at best. Nothing much going on here. You know, Bray Wyatt again, pretty much saying the same shit he's been saying for the past three weeks. You know, oh, Roman says it's his yard, but it's my world. I mean, it's just, it's really just rhetoric. You know, all the, all the shit Bray Wyatt's saying, it's rhetoric. Because, yeah, he's been WWE champion for like a month. But other than that, he's really done nothing in this company. So, I mean, he comes out there and says, you know, it's my world, whatever the fuck. But he hasn't really done much. You know, Roman Reigns hits back with his normal two-minute promo here. And obviously, you know, they're just going to use this. You know, they always use the first promo to build to a match. So, we have the match here. Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns ends, ends in a DQ. You got Samoa Joe and Seth Rollins coming out. Just, again, just so basic. Just a, like a fucking brawl. Let's just have two people come out during this match and have a brawl. I mean, how how basic is that? How unoriginal is that? So the match sucked. Four minutes and 50 seconds long. Zero out of five stars. Then we have Tozawa defeating Davari. And just, again, another short, pointless cruiserweight match. I mean, you, you see this fucking midget Tozawa. I, I see him on my television screen like every week screaming like a moron. Ah, 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 ah. I mean, what the fuck is this? I mean, I mean, is this guy from like, like a secluded tribe in like the Pacific Ocean or something like that, where all they do is scream and yell and shit? I mean, I mean, what the fuck is this supposed to be? I mean, I mean, you know, most people who watch this show don't live in the fucking Pacific Islands. You know, they live in fucking you know a civilized world. So it's not really that much of an appeal to see some guy who's acting like. You know, he, he lives in some secluded area of the Pacific Ocean. I mean, it's just very, very weird to me. Oh, it's his battle crow. It's his battle crow. Shut the fuck up. So that was a shitty ass match. Zero out of five stars. Then we have Samson in his, in his marvelous debut. You know, I, I, I kind of been, I kind of been liking with it. I haven't, I haven't really commented on the Drifter, but it's one of the things I like in this company is the Drifter. I mean, it's, pretty simple he's just walking around playing a guitar i think it's funny it's mysterious so he has finally has his match here and i mean it, it just appeared like pretty fucking basic i mean so he has his match you know he, he's playing this weird ass song before it <laughs> um i mean i've liked what they've been doing with this character i hope they continue to develop it i mean it was very very predictable what they were going to do here with miz at ringside it's just so fucking predictable so Miz, of course, interferes. Wow, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know that would happen. <coughs> uh, again, just very, very basic. He interferes, and then, and then they both beat down Dean Ambrose. Uh, so uh, it was a six-minute and twenty-five-second match. They gave it 0.5 out of five stars. <coughs> then we have Balor uh, and, and Paul Heyman cutting a promo here. I thought it was all right. I mean, seeing Heyman was a refreshment. But then again, you have no Lesnar on the show, so it's not like it. It really doesn't even matter that Heyman was there, because your champion has now been MIA for what, like a month and a half now. I, I mean, just what the fuck? I, I mean, I, I cannot stress just how idiotic that is not to have your champion there for this long a time. I mean, it's almost like I forgot about him. I mean, that's like the main part of your show there. You know, the feud over the belt, but he's not even there, so you can't have a feud over the belt dumb so Heyman just comes out and he's like sucking Balor's dick saying how great he is you know oh you're so great Finn Balor when he hasn't even really done anything in this company he hasn't they, they brought him up to the main roster and then he got hurt and now you know Heyman's out there saying how great he is I, I mean why he hasn't really done anything uh and, and like why is Heyman praising this baby face when Heyman's like Known for being this evil heel. I, I really didn't understand this promo too much. Um, and Heyman basically says, oh, Brock's going to make victims of everybody. And then 
Valor says, no, I'm going to be Brock Lesnar. Again, just very, very basic. I wrote in my notes it was okay, but like thinking about it, it really wasn't that good. I mean, it was a weird-ass basic promo. Then we have Anderson defeating Finn Balor. Um, you know, right after Heyman just put him over, you know, Anderson just, just beats him like that. It, 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 you know, very, very weird to see. And I, I mean, I think I got it. I wrote, I wrote it in my notes. You know, it's so hard to keep track of this fucking show. Um, you know, it's it, it was a very unforgettable show tonight. So I apologize if I have that right, but I, I think I, I think I got it right. Uh, it was a six minute and twenty second match. I gave it a half star out of five. Again, it's just like throwing two people together in a match for no rhyme or reason whatsoever, and it was just a boring ass basic fucking match. And again, um, I, I mean that to, to to put Anderson over Valor like that. Um. I, actually, I I, no, I I remember now. Um, Balor did win. I don't know why I wrote that, but I'm I, I'm almost sure that Balor won. Thing. I don't know why I wrote that. You know, just watching the show gets you so, so far in a trance, and, and it gets you so bored, and it makes you so tired. You know, it's a cure for your insomnia, so it, it does put me to sleep at times. It makes me sleepy. So I apologize for that mistake there, but uh, yeah, Balor did win. So my my bad there, but. Uh, Still a shitty ass, just boring match. I mean, it was pretty predictable who was going to win there, even though I got it, I got it wrong in my notes. I, I I apologize for that mistake. The ruthless ranter is not perfect, despite what many of my fans like to think. Then we have Alicia or uh, Banks defeating Alicia Fox. They've had like three matches over the past three weeks, and all they're like, this is a big rubber match here, you know. The big tiebreaker match. Each have won a match. And it, it was a fucking 2 minute and 15 second match. <laughs> I mean what a joke. What a fucking joke. Terrible. 0 out of 5 stars. Sasha Banks wins. I don't give a fuck. Then we have Kalisto defeating uh, Apollo Crews in 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Once again just a th throw away match. I mean if you're going to have matches that are 2 or 3 minutes long. It just gives the message that. You you don't really give a fuck about it, and that's just a you're you're just wasting people's time with that with this shit. So that's another zero out of five star match. And then then we have uh, Matt Hardy defeating Sheamus. I just thought this was a pretty boring ass match, to be quite honest with you. You know, I saw some this is awesome chants out there, some 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 fucking idiots chanting that this is awesome. I mean, it really this was not awesome, you idiots. I mean, like, I'm watching this match, and it's just, you know, oh, Matt Hardy hits the, the Tornado DDT. Sheamus hits, you know, his move. Hardy hits it. I mean, there's no diversity. There's no unique moves to this shit. So I don't know why the fuck people are chanting this is awesome. I gave it a half stride of five. So then the Hardys get to pick the stipulation for the match, and they pick a fucking steel cage. I mean, like, it might be good, but I'm thinking, like, steel cage, you have a really confined space. Like, even if there's two people in it, it really limits the amount of shit you could do because it's just such a small area. Having a fucking double that, you know, a tag team steel cage match, it just seems like it's so fucking boxed in and there's, you're, you're really, you know, claustrophobic in there. Then we have Aries defeating Nice in another just shitty cruiserweight match that was, hey, under five minutes, what a shock. Four minutes and 30 seconds long, they gave it a half star out of five, once again, just... Just basic as you can get. I mean, whoever's writing this show is just obviously doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Because I could write this. I mean, again, there's no like intricate storylines or anything. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's like wrestling 101. It's like fucking monkey, monkeys are writing this shit. I mean, it's just, it's like the people who are writing this show have no brains whatsoever. I mean, you know, you're actually supposed to be like thinking about the shit you're writing. You know, throughout the entire week. I mean, like, what do they do all day? They just sit in a room and do nothing? Uh, I mean, you're actually supposed to be thinking of, like, storylines that I can never think of. I mean, looking through these three hours of shit, I mean, I could think of all this shit. I mean, it's just so basic. I keep using that word, but I don't know what else to say because it is. Then we have uh, Bliss defeating Mickey James in another fucking just horrible match. Two minutes and 55 seconds long. A waste of time. I gave it zero out of five stars. Then we have your main event. 
Joe, uh, Samoa Joe and Bray Wyatt defeating Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Just a boring tag match. I mean, you know my thoughts on tag matches in this company. They usually suck, and this one did too. Uh, it didn't even pick up at the end. It was just, for the most part, boring. Boring, boring, boring. And, and it's just like, oh, you know, the, the heel team win, wins, and that's it. That's it. That's your main event. And, and, and they're doing this shit. You know, you see Kurt Angle backstage. First off, he calls Finn Balor, Finn Baylor. What, what, what the fuck? I mean, really? I mean, I mean, you don't know what the fuck this guy's name is? What are you fucking dumb? Baylor? Really? And then they're, they're, they're still doing this shit. Well, oh, you know, in one of the main events, this guy's going to be wrestling. And then the other main event. What, what, what the fuck are you talking about? The other main event. There's only one main event, you fucking dumbasses. I mean, don't, here's, again, you know, they, they come out and they say, oh, we love the fans, we love the fans. But now they're trying to deceive the fans into thinking we're getting, like, something special by, oh, they're giving us two main events on Raw. Shut the fuck up. We're not getting two main... We're getting zero main events because this was, this wasn't a main event. Pretty much every Raw main event sucks. So, that by definition, by your definition, it's not a main event. So, shut the fuck up about the go two main event, two main event. No, there's only one main event by my definition. And that's the end... The, the, the last match of the night. By your definition, the main event's a great match, you know, with two, you know, good wrestlers. So going off of your definition, there's really never a main event because every match in this, uh, on Raw just sucks dick. And this one did too, like I said. Boring. Bland. No excitement. No unique, nothing unique about it. As typical as you could get. I gave it a half star out of five. It was 12 minutes and five seconds long. So there you go, people. Three hours of just goddamn shit. I mean, just no respect for us. They just, they, they just do nothing exciting anymore. It's just cookie cutter matches and promos. So unoriginal. So boring. Champion's not even there. And there's your raw people. Terrible. I don't know why I gave the thumbs up because this show sucked. Sucked dick. So there you go, people. There's your raw review.